Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at a tool that lets you create photo shoots of your product, whether you are a beauty brand, sneaker brand, a cosmetics brand or any type of physical product, you can create unlimited photo shoots at just $10, but it also has a free tier that lets you create free photo shoots and compared to a photo shoot price, this is really cheap. So let's take a look at this. So interface is very clear on the left side in this area, you get to make your own setup with your product image and on the right hand side, whatever prompt you put, it will get regenerated. So for example, I'll just get rid of this and I have my own PNG that I have taken from different sources. So in the property section, you get to use a different platform. So for this one, I can use a, a wooden table or something like that. So I would use something like this, but I want to make this behind the photograph. So I can just go here and uh, there's an option to send it back and it goes back. I'll place it properly here. So since this looks more natural, I can use like few rocks that are here. Next is the generate tab. So once you come here, you get to see select from multiple themes. So if your brand is more muted, you can select from monochrome, but it's since it's more household, you can select something like this. I have selected this as you, as soon as you select this, it gets added at the top as a prompt. Similarly, you can see a lot of setups in here, depending upon your wish, you can select any of these. So I, I can use something like this, which is like a wine cellar. And sometimes your required setup might not be in this one where this is where you can use prompt builder where you can replace this image. You can add your own image if you have some brand color set up in your studio and then you can use a lot of things like, okay, what is the product? That is the name placement is on the cube. And then you can insert a lot of things like, for example, surrounding background. So as you can see, it has generated. Most important factor here is clicking on this one and uh, click on preserve all details. By doing this, it doesn't re-render your image. It just keeps it as it is and adjusts the background. As you can see this image on the right hand side, the box is standing out a lot. So I'll click on this one and instead of keep color in shape, I'll click on blend with scene. So this will use the theme of the photograph and generate use the block as a reference but still blend it with everything now as you can see it has more or less key, uh, this is in this option it has given that keep color and shape that means the color and shape is retained and a bit changed so since this is more like a oil i can use something like a candle and a book so i'll take it up and put it on the right hand side and maybe make it smaller so this way and i'll if this is in front so i'll just make it in back and as you can see, this has become like more of a vibe. Now, in order to download this, you just have to click on the photo and say, click on save results. So as you can see, this is the image that you can see. And now you can click on ups upscale, which basically increases the fidelity of your image. Let's go to another template and change the vibe entirely. What if instead of this one, I just select something like a really bright, really bright outdoor office scene and as you can see it has used the same thing i think my favorite would be this vegetables because it gives you that vibe overall and it since this one i have kept it as a blend with scene let's change it back to keep shape and color and see what it does it keeps the shape and color and i can also click on generate variations where it generates different variations of the same thing while keeping this thing and for this one i can click on generate variations so to again change the way the candles are looking. So I'll go back and uh, blend with the scene. So like this, you can really take it up a notch and create a lot of variables. One thing to note here is that real time generation is limited for their time. After that, you just have to click on generate and do your generation one by one. It has a lot of free trials. I haven't checked it yet, but it has a lot of trials so you can use it. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we are going to take a look at how you can use AI agents and workflow builders for your advantage.